Hello everyone, welcome to Whiskey Wars. Today we have an episode of The Neck Pour that I'm really excited to do. It's going to be the first episode of The Neck Pour that's just a sample, but there is a reason for that. I could not buy this whiskey. I, I still can't buy this whiskey and I really want to, but I can't find a bottle anywhere for a reasonable price. They, they, they retail at £70 in the UK, but you'd have to pay £250 for a bottle, which I'm not going to do, even though I'd love to have a bottle. So, it's the only sample that's probably going to make it onto the neck pour just because I really want to film this review. This is the Redbreast PX Sherry Cask and this is a limited release, um, although if you're in America they have re-released it again for the American market. So lucky you guys, so lucky. Back in Europe we, we don't get that luxury unfortunately. Now it's bottled at 46%, let's get it open. Well that took longer than I thought opening that up. It's a, it's a wax finish, the cap is loose, okay. I the problem with this review could be I'm looking forward to this whiskey maybe too much. That it I I have too high expectations and it doesn't quite live up to it. But let's see. Okay, there we go. Wow. Wow. Super sweet. Super sweet. Wow. Yeah. Okay, straight off the nose. What what am I getting? It's very sweet. But it also doesn't smell young as well. I'm not getting any ethanol on the nose, which I'm, I really like. Sometimes with uh, non-age stated Irish whiskies, it can come across a bit too strong on the ethanol. I'm not getting any on the nose, which could tell me it's fairly old. Sultanas on the nose, definitely like dusted dried sultanas. There's something juicy in there though that's giving it a really nice sweetness. Honey, sultanas, dried raisins, maybe a little bit of plum as well. Yeah, definitely those uh, darker, richer fruits. But the sweetness here, on the nose at least, it's not going to come across too caramelly or too much toffee. It's going to be more of a honey, definitely more of a, a lighter uh, syrupy sweetness but it blends really well and it makes it smell like quite natural as well god that's nice yeah that's nice i'm looking forward to trying this uh, be before i taste this if you haven't already please do click the like button if you like the video or find it helpful and um, but please do click the subscribe button most importantly because it really helps the channel out and it lets youtube know that my videos are actually worth watching so thank you so much I really appreciate that, genuinely. Okay, on to the taste. That's a good nose. I'm genuinely, genuinely surprised. And I really want to say why. So, I recently filmed the neck pour for the Redbreast Tawny Pour Cask, which is also part of the Iberian series. In fact, that's the later release. This is a previous release. And the, I wasn't getting too many flavours initially from that neck pour. It's since opened up a little bit more, um, but I got a lot more ethanol and less flavours were coming to me. So I, I did expect a little bit of the same, but I, I was expecting this one to be a bit better. I can honestly tell you now, syrupy sweetness. Just a lot more flavour initially coming to the taste. And... No ethanol as well. I'm going to be filming a whiskey war with this compared to the Tawny Port cask. I do suggest you watch that one. I may also uh, review this with the Lustau as well, because that's also part of the Iberian series, but it's part of the core release, the core lineup. This and the Tawny Port are the limited releases, so that's why I'm filming those two together. And it'll be Port versus Sherry. Um, but with the Lustau, that could be a good one because it's Oloroso versus PX Sherry. 
uh, for the red breast. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that Lustau review with the PX. Guys, genuinely. This whiskey is incredible. Now, what I would say, this to me seems from memory at least, I'd have to do them side by side. I think this is the sweetest red breast that I've tried. And I've had the 12, the 12 cast strength, the 15, the Lustau, the Tawny, and now this one. So I've had six red breasts. None of the expensive ones, the lesser ones, but um, this tastes the sweetest by far. Um, and I really like that. I like that. It blends, it does blend with that buttery, uh, biscuity uh, note that Red Breast is famous for. But the sweetness is definitely dialed up more. The, the ratio from biscuity, uh, bready, uh, compared to sweetness, it's definitely more towards the sweetness, that's for sure. And it's definitely a syrupy sweetness as well. It's really thick and clingy. This is not a thick, this is not a thin whiskey, I should say. It's quite thick and viscous. It clings, and I like that. You're getting a, a, a decently long finish with this whiskey. I can totally understand why it's sold out and why it's going for so much in the second hand market. I suggest if you're from America, if it, if it's still available for a good price, maybe pick up a bottle. And then take a picture and send it to me uh, on my Instagram and I'll be very, je very jealous, very jealous. I'm not surprised by that juicy Sultana, even that dried raisin, because PX, I was expecting that. What I am surprised about is just how syrupy sweet it is, but also it's caked in honey, like fresh, freshly squeezed honey on this whiskey, and it is amazing. There are light orchard fruits as well with that honey, but you can have an apple and it can come across quite sharp. It's like a an apple just drenched in honey. It's super sweet. It's so nice. It's so nice. There is something, there is a sort of like a, I, I don't know whether I, I would call it, maybe maybe like a, a, ne a nectarine or a peach, a fresh peach in this whiskey as well. Um, you're really getting a broad spectrum on that fruit side. I'm not just getting the darker fruits like I was expecting, dried fruits. Um, I was expecting raisins and sultanas and red fruits, but I wasn't actually expecting the amount of honey, a little bit of apple, and also a little bit of like a nectarine or a peach in there. And it's really given me a nice bandwidth of fruits and sweetness different sweetnesses coming through this bottle. I really like it. I genuinely like it. What I would say is this seems to be the least nutty of the red breasts that I've had in the past. I'm not really getting a nut presence. I'll see if I can just with another sip. Honestly, not really. If there was a nut, I would say it's very slightly walnutty. But there's also like a cashew nut quality. Yeah, I, I would say slight walnut, but also I'd like a bit of cashew nut. It, and, and that's really strange because I've not picked that up in a whiskey before, but there is something of that nature in there. It's not a strong nut at all, um, but it is quite, quite fluffy. It's uh, this is a, this is a really nice whiskey, really, really good whiskey. And I really, if you've watched my reviews before, I go in on some whiskies, um, really criticize them if I don't think they're up to par. And I try to be as, honest as possible. I don't want to blow smoke up a certain whiskey bottle um, because I don't think it helps anyone. I, I want to, I know some people's tastes are different, especially than mine. Um, although we can agree on certain things with, with a whiskey experience, but genuinely I, 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 I want to give this whiskey straight away from the neck pour, first impressions, above a 9 out of 10. I love this whiskey and I don't give ratings out if you've noticed. This, if I, 
I, I, I'm not going to go too far because this is a sample. I don't have my bottle, but if I did have a bottle of this, um, it could it could feature very highly uh, in my collection. That's for sure. Um, so thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Neck Pour. This is the Redbreast PX Sherry Cask. I strongly recommend you give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you like the video, please do drop a like on the video and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Wall.